Hello there, my name is Ismail, welcome to Talk Time 101. So in this video, I want to show you how to set up a payment system on your website uh, so that you can start accepting payments. Uh, this time we're going to be using PayPal. And uh, yeah, so I'll be doing these videos and uh, showing you what other payment system you can be using. Uh, in the next video, maybe I'll try using uh, Square App uh, as a payment system that you can use on your uh, website. So for this video, we're just going to set up uh, to, I'm just going to show you how to accept payments using PayPal. Uh, so yeah, so maybe you have a, uh, a product or an item you want to be selling on your website uh, say an ebook or a pdf uh, so this is just a simple way to set up a web, to set up your website to accept payments uh, so that people can download uh, your ebook after they pay you uh, so this is how to do it so the first thing you're going to need is a paypal account and uh, so you can just go to paypal.com and sign up for your account uh, then uh, for this tutorial i'm going to be using wordpress but this uh, you can this can also be applicable to any CMS you're using. You could be using Drupal or anything uh, that will let you paste HTML code into uh, the back end. Uh, so it can also be just simply an HTML website or PHP website. Is uh, the steps are the same. So yeah. So this is my website top channel one on one, and uh, let me show you how it looks. So it's very simple. Uh, we're just going to set up uh, the button. So after logging in into it, so you need to log into your PayPal account. So this is my PayPal account. And then find uh, the selling tools. Uh, go to seller preferences, click there. Uh, it will open up a new link. And then you will see a few other links here. So the link you want to click on is the payment, uh, is the PayPal buttons. Uh, and uh, you can find here, you see a link that says update, click on that, and it will take you to the creation page. Uh, so you can see that we have a few uh, buttons here, test button, sample button. So, so you'll find a few sample buttons there. Uh, but uh, if you want to create your own button, just click on this create new button uh, to take you to the creation page. And uh, yeah. So this is the setup uh, page for the uh, for the button. You can see, you can choose between what type of button you see you want, you want the users to see. So you can see uh, shopping, you can have a shopping cart. Uh, buy now button donation subscription uh, so what we want to go for is a uh, buy now button because they are simpler people are used to them a subscription is just a, a button that will let uh, that will let you charge a uh, people on a, on a regular basis uh, it would be a monthly basis a daily basis whatever you want but uh, we are just going for a simple buy now button so just select that and uh, you can name it whatever you want here so I'll just call this maybe uh, ebook ebook uh, payment payment uh, you can add an item id if you want but that but but that is an option uh, that is just optional uh, so then you can set the price uh, you want to charge uh, the buyers so let's say ten dollars uh, for the pdf and uh, uh, you can also select uh, if you say you, you want to sell at a different price you can have a drop down menu uh, so that people can select between uh, different prices you can also set other uh, different uh, options you want here uh, so maybe you uh, ebook one ebook one and uh, ebook two ebook uh, three. So, so you also see uh, the customer preview here how the button will look like on your website so say let's say ebook uh, three so the first one will be ten dollars the second one will be let's say twenty and another one uh, ten thousand dollars why not so yeah so then uh, your customers, so after that, just click done and uh, the, op the option should be updated, it should update here in your customer preview. And uh, yeah, so your, so your customer will have the option to choose between what type of product they want to buy uh, from you, uh, uh, depending on what option they choose. And maybe then you can set up a thank you page or a download page where you have those three options. Uh, maybe, uh, so yeah, but we don't we want to keep it very simple without, so we just, we want to keep it very simple just a buy now button so i'm going to remove uh the drop down so i just click uh, i just unchecked the drop down a uh, menu option uh, so you also have different options here uh, the text uh, the title you want uh, for the button but we can always change this uh, on the page so we don't necessarily have to add it here but if you want you can just add it here uh ebook uh best ebook ever uh, done and, uh, it will appear there uh, but uh, we don't need uh, that there uh, so then uh, if you want to charge them shipping uh, you can also add uh, the shipping here uh, the the shipping fee uh, taxes everything you want to, to use there uh, 
you also have the option to choose between your merchant account id or your primary email address uh, but uh, let's just keep it at merchant id but you can choose whatever option you, you want there and uh, then here you can uh, you have a few other options you want you can uh, select from here but uh, i can leave uh, the default the default uh, there but this is just uh checking uh, your inventory how many how many items you want, you still have in stock if you are selling uh, a physical product you're going to ship out a physical product but if, if in case you are just uh, if it's just a digital download then you don't have to uh, look into this so yeah I won't do that so uh, the last part step three is very important because this is where you uh, redirect uh, your buyers after they have made the uh, they, made, they have made the, the purchase so what page are your buyer sees after they make the purchase so uh, so you can read through these options here, but the main option I wanted to show you here is this take customers to this URL when they cancel and take a customer to this URL if they are finished checkout. So if uh, for some reason the customer chooses to cancel the, uh, the payment uh, before they make they complete the, the order, uh, you can choose to send them to a different page. Uh, so, you, uh, so you can create a page here, let's call it cancel. Uh, let's call it so, so whatever CMS you're using, you ha you should have a, an option to create a new page. So let's call this cancel, and uh, we can I why would you cancel this, my friend? Buy again, and we can add. Buy. So this will be. This will be the, our cancellation page uh, we just publish and then we copy the URL of that page so if we go to this this will be our cancellation page just copy the URL and then paste it uh, in the take take to take customers to this URL when they cancel so we paste it here and then now we need to take to have a download page or a thank you page for the payment so uh, for if you have an ebook you're trying to sell then you would need a download page uh, so that uh, the user can be able to download uh, whatever you're trying to, to sell them after they make the payment so we can uh, we can call this download page and uh, we can say download uh, we can add a download button so let me just find a download button here a download button use this maybe copy image address and uh, let's uh, let's where is it uh, let's add an image inside from URL uh, paste that there and uh, download it now search the page and uh, can, you can then add the link uh, to your whatever you write whatever you want the user to download so uh, let me just add a link to any image uh, let's say where my uploads upload in the library so let me just copy this ah oh, god so this will let's assume that this will be our, our ebook and uh, it's what other users will be downloading so yeah so then we publish that page and then we can go to that page so this is how the page looks so we can copy this so when the user clicks on this download button they should be able to download uh, the ebook or whatever you or whatever you're selling so you come uh, you come into this option here and uh, paste that URL there and uh, it's just a return some variables to come back to your website if you're using if you're going to process uh, some verification and things like that but uh, since we are trying to keep this simple let's just go on and create the button Yeah, so now we have successfully created the button and now you can just copy this code and paste it on your buy button so let's say let's create a new page and uh, say buy let's call it buy this awesome awesome book and uh, we can add we can paste the code on that page remember if you're using wordpress don't paste the code in the visual editor because it's code it won't be 
correct uh, you just need to go to in the text editor and then paste the code there because it's the text uh, it's the code area of wordpress where you paste code so then publish so now if we go to this page you can see we have the buy button now obviously you would need an image uh, for what you're selling and uh, some information about what you're selling and when the user clicks buy uh, they're taken to paper where they process where the payment is processed uh, so let's see what happens if we cancel the payment because I'm obviously I'm not going to buy this so when the payment is successful they are taken to this page when they cancel uh, the payment uh, they are taken to this page so okay so if you want to test this out you would need to log in with a different account uh, than what you used uh, to create the button that's why I'm you're seeing this error here uh, but uh, yeah so that's how you set up a payment on your paper as so that's how you accept payments on your website so if you have say you want this uh, so let's go to my website so that's how you so that's how you accept payments on your website using paper uh, in the next video maybe we'll look at how to accept payments using square app uh, so yeah if you found this useful make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video and uh, maybe the other thing i can add i can add on this is that uh, uh, this buy button is only on one page uh, the page uh, the buy uh, page we, uh, we created but uh, say you want uh, this buy button to be uh, maybe let's say you want a donate button on on every page on your website you can add that the, the code uh, to your to your to a widget that appears on every on every page I'm assuming if you're using WordPress uh, you, you can add it to a widget uh, that is displayed on every page I uh, say the footer area you want to add this so that it appears on, on every page you have on the website uh, let's go back to PayPal and create that so go to seller preferences and uh, so I have to be logged in so I'll log in then go to so go to seller preferences and then go to payment buttons uh, click update and then create a new button but this time we want a donation button so we're going to choose that option uh, so we can add this we can all these donations and uh, paste donations if I can spell donations and I uh, so, so it's very simple you can uh, yeah and then I don't think you have the option to select uh, the amount also you have the option here so contribution upon option so you can set the amount uh, they want to donate you want them to donate but uh, uh, let's just keep it simple and just choose whatever donate whatever a donation someone wants to choose I uh, wants to donate so then uh, after that you can go to let's see let's see uh, the return URL if you want uh, to add a page where a person can cancel or after what what uh, the user sees when they successfully donated so we can add a thank you page let's create a new page uh, call it a thank you thank you for the test donation obviously if you want to test out this donation I'll leave the <laughs> uh, I'll leave the page there so you can try out and see if the donation works yourself so yeah uh, let's see let's so after that after creating the button just click create button oh I forgot to add the thank you page so uh, then uh, so I forgot to add the thank you page to to add the thank you page. Uh, so um, I have to go back and edit that button. I'll I'll just show you in the minute in a minute. So just copy this URL, or maybe let's go back. So you can click here to go back to the buttons you you created you created to edit those buttons, and uh, you can find uh, the button you you created. So then click on the button then edit button and 
now we can add our thank you page thank you for the donations so we can just copy this and uh, paste it then uh, so save now we should be taken to the code page to copy that and uh, let's edit this paste again paste down uh, the button there update so yeah so i'll leave a link to this donation page if you want to test it out and uh, yeah they will charge you if you click on it obviously so yeah uh, but uh, yeah thank you make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video